you know, I go here, and I and the games a lot of times I'll I'll do a little double tap. When I do that little double tap and don't get my good load, I know I'm I'm struggling. But if I get my good load here, I'm determining whether it's a flat pitch, high pitch, you know, so I know how long to hold that exactly. So that's real relaxed and a real slow motion. It's real motion. relaxed. It's it's here, and if it's you know if it's flat, I'm just gonna catch and go. If it's a little higher, I try to hold it for just a pinch, and that's all in the timing part of it. You know, I try to land. I don't try to dive in. I try to try, you know, try to stride either at the pitcher or out a little bit. But I try to land with my hips closed. You know, I see a lot of people when they load, they will load like this, and now your hips are already that much open. So now the hip drive is only from here to there. Whereas I like that when I load, I like to load with my hips closed, land with my hips closed, which is here, which gives me that much more to drive into it and where I feel a lot of my power comes from. You know, I'm really strong in my legs, really strong in my lower back. I mean, you know, I leg press over a thousand pounds, deadlift 600. Um, so my, you know, I'm not big in the chest, not big in my arms, but my lower half is where I, I feel all my power comes from. And it's really just the, you know, the load, land with my hips closed, and then I really, really drive as hard as I can into that front side. You know, and a lot of times you'll see the, my finish in the videos and pictures is like this, and it's because I'm driving my hips so hard that my foot won't rotate no more. Because I'm on the ball, and my foot it won't keep going, so it just rolls over. Let's see if I can. I mean, I really, I really pull like throw throw that knob to where I want it to go, and then let the and I think that snap too. That wrist snap. That wrist right snap with it. is coming with it. My backside's engaged, and I'm driving that hip into it as my hands are coming forward, and then you know, so everything right at impact, it all comes together at the same time. You know, I want this hip to be, I want that hip to be basically like I'm trying to hit my hip to the ball also. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I'll teach, take that to kids, you know, and get a little thing and, you know, be like, you know, take your hip to the ball too. Kind of, I've seen your, some of the videos. That on the hip drill, we do Something that. Something like that, yep. The um, other one, the other one I, that, that make, it seems like it maybe makes sense to use, make a fist, put it on your hip, and go ahead and punch with your, you know, punch with your, Yeah. you know, it feels like your hip is yeah, doing the punching. Same thing, I mean, as long as, if this hip, it's, it's driving into to where you want to go. I mean, say you're wanting to go backside, you know, so the ball, you know, so your ball's back here, you know, boom, I'm driving that hip into it, you know, the pull pitch out front, you know, boom, I'm driving my hip into it. I feel if you're driving that hip into it, that's when you're going to get your most power. And you um, feel a drive, you feel more of a punch or drive of the hip rather than a push off of the back foot because yes. the back foot's not on the ground very yes, long. Yes, it's, it's all, it's all the drive in the hip to me. Um, like I said, I coil up pretty good you know my front side's not closed so much but my bottom half is so they're already they're already coiling up against each other um, you know and then whenever I go to drive that hip I mean that's I really just drive the whole you know whole backside into the into the ball as hard as I can and I do keep my top hand very loose um, it's something I've always done since Little League is this loose 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 and then tight at impact um, but what happens now is I'll get ready to go and I'll do the stupid double tap and I catch my shoulder, which makes my hand move. And so two or three times in the last two tournaments, I've literally taken swings like these kind of swings, you know, no top hand even on it. So my top hand, I don't feel, it does nothing but really guide. I mean, it just, to me, it feels like it guides the bat to the ball. I don't really, I don't really feel like it does much. I mean, I could almost think I could almost take my top hand off three quarters into the swing and be the same. Well, well that, and when we say pull, it doesn't necessarily have to have a connotation of you pulling open like this, but since you're saying that this is almost, you know, light on there as a guide, it's more of, you know, if you had a cable machine and you were pulling Absolutely. pulling with your lead arm here, you don't have to be pulling out like this, but you're definitely pulling, pulling like yes, this. Yes, you know, yes, pulling, yes. You know, if you had to take your top hand off, you could, you know, you're really yes. pulling a lot to there, and then the top hand is snapping and, with and that's it. One of the, so it doesn't have to be opening yes, up like that, but it can yes, be kind of yes, pulling that, right that, there. That, the the with the kind of the pool thing that y'all talk about if you can keep that shoulder closed with with the with the teaching that you have and not get people to, to spin out that's what I call it spinning out um, if you can keep them to keep that shoulder closed then yes the upper half is definitely front side the lower half is back right here yeah I love branches teaching because it mirrors what we teach in our lessons and so here's a lesson athlete we had 55 year old guy 58 year old guy only 155 pounds and watch how there's not much hip drive if you watch how um, a, a different pro athlete about the same size, this is Robert Blackburn, 
Watch how you lift up your hip here, but watch how the shoulders and upper body almost drag the hips open. There's The hips come late, they're not leading the swing. Watch Blackburn here, watch how he drives into that front leg with the rear hip point and then at the end the front leg straightens to finish out the rotation. Now watch your upper body here. The hands come ahead, but you aren't getting a good perfect snap. Your lead arm's not extending, and you get into a rollover. The lead arm's got to be the power on the top side. It's got to direct, it's got to guide. Look at how, brand, how um, Blackburn's uh, lead arm is very powerful and strong in the swing. Top hand comes into play with the extension at the snap, but that's got to guide, it's got to be powerful, and it's got to, um, as Brand says, stab the knob towards the bottom half of the ball. So we did connection drill right here. You're loading into the rear hip. That's real good, getting the hands back all the way. Here's the punch and drill that Brian's talking about. We want to drive the rear hip into the front leg. Now I see your front leg buckles, and that's the one problem you had. We use a swing simulator, but the front leg should be a strong brace. It shouldn't bend at all because it wants to drive backwards. Perfect snap. Uh, again, real nice. You're finishing up in an axe style position, palm down, palm up. We use the hip drill, the boom boom hip drill you just saw for the lower half, and this is what we use for the upper half. It's rotation, driving the knob in the lead arm, and then the top arm will help snap an impact. A good axe snap, palm down and palm up. Nice smooth one fluid motion. You can break it down into three parts, it's got to be done in one fluid motion. So we use the swing simulator here to rotate, drive, and snap, and see how that's bailing out or that's. Uh, uh, driving your shoulder up and out um, and anyhow you can see that's no good you almost want to have your shoulder be a guide watch his left shoulder here on Blackburn's left shoulder drives down it's almost like a guide drives down to the point of impact stays closed as long as possible now here look at the swing right here you're not driving your hips open day one look at your belly button still facing the over the plate and so we've had to work hard on getting you to drive the hip open watch how his body is open before the back comes around He's driving open and the hands follow. Hands follow with the perfect snap. Again here, your belly's facing the pitcher. It's a good strike on the ball, but there's a rollover, just not proper. Now here's the last thing on day one. Look at how the knob comes up. We want to drive that knob inside the ball a little bit so we stay in rotation at the bottom. Your knob's driving way up. So here's day two, the refresher drills. Again, these will be the drills you take home. Punch, lead leg straighter. All you need to work on that. And here's the bat on the hip drill. So again, we reach ahead, rotate block with the front leg and really drive the rear hip into it. Working on the upper body swing simulator is great for working the perfect snap. Um, again from the side here we want to drive the hips, see how the hip drives so if you even when you're seated the hip needs to drive. Getting the heavy bag to hit into promotes the X style snap and again the front hip needs to drive it. it needs to drive the lead arm and the perfect snap and you want to finish to the inside a little bit like right there. Shows you that you're staying within the rotation. Here from the back side, watch how nice swing this swing is a coil, load, and then a drive. You want to work on hitting the ball to center field to the open areas, and you want to try to develop some power. See if the hips open first, they do. And it's a good 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 aim at the point of contact. So here's your first swing outside. You get distracted. Again, the knob came down, it comes up, and you roll over. It's a golfy swing. Again, right here. See how the knob comes up? No good. So we had to go back and work. It's so easy to get distracted. You're only working on the hip drive in the lead arm with the perfect snap. And you just got better and better and better. Your opening exit speeds were 59 miles an hour, you hit 265 feet. At the end here you hit 73 miles an hour, average a 14 mile an hour increase, doing the perfect snap there. You hit 81 miles an hour and you hit a ball 330 feet, the longest ball you ever hit. You have good power for 155 pound 58 year old. Watch here, there's your load, rear hip drives the perfect snap and the lead arm is very important. You get into a little bit of a rollover, it's not perfect. But again, here's the drills. We want to really reach that brace leg ahead and drive into it with the rear hip and try to keep that front leg straight. And then the lead arm is dominant in the perfect snap. Rotate, stab, and snap. Uh, again, here, here's, here's one of the later swings you had at the end. Look at that perfect snap. Hip, rear hip's driving the perfect snap, X style, beautiful. Look at the nice launch angle you have. Again, your front leg straighter. There's a perfect snap, no rollover before. That's why you're generating so much power. You're hitting line drives 295 feet, which was great. And here's, um, here's your home run swing. Again, rear hip driving the perfect snap. X style right there. I'd like to see you keep that lead arm finish at the end, which is if you're faster at the end, if you fall all the way around with a straight lead arm and let your top hand come off well after full extension impact, like um, Blackburn does here, you're going to be faster. But tremendous improvement for a small guy. You really generated a lot of power. A small, older guy. So great job. Let's look at the live swings.
technical things you're going to walk out of here with when you go home and train and drill? Primarily practicing the perfect snap. By driving from the hip, getting the full hip rotation and keeping my shoulder down, even forward, and not lifting it up like that and keep pulling my arm in. That was correcting that gave me a lot more velocity on the ball. This is a nice bat. I don't play senior ball yet, but uh, I will be at my age. And uh, this is very familiar to me, having had DeMarini bats for the last eight or 10 years. It feels very natural. It, it feels very normal to me. It doesn't feel different. Uh, it's, it's a new bat. It's got a lot of pop. It'll probably get more as it's broken in. It feels sharp and it's crisp. It sounds crisp and it it's got velocity. 